Squarespace has new pricing plans. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it depends on what you're using Squarespace for. Hi, I'm Brian with the Bound Web Design. Here with another, nope, actually not a Squarespace tutorial this time. I'm here with a review for you. So today we're going to be talking about Squarespace's new pricing plans that they just released here recently. It's this past Friday on February the 28th of 2025 and talking about the differences in the pricing plans and whether this overall is a good thing or not. So let's jump over to my screen and we'll take a look at the pricing plans that they've just recently released. Okay, so we're over here on Squarespace's website on their pricing page. And as you can see here, you can get their one of their websites free for 14 days. If you work with me, I can get one free for you for six months through my circle membership. But let's look at the prices here. So this is if you pay monthly. And so you're going to save, you see here, you save 36% annually by paying annually on these first two plans. And you save 30% on the plus and save 28% on the advanced, all for paying annually. If you were to have me build your website, you would save another 20% on top of these numbers for the first year with an annual plan. And so you see the prices right here. Before these plans, the these two were still the same. They were 25 and 36 a month. And this one was at $40 a month. And it was so the, the plans before were personal, business, commerce, basic, and then commerce advanced. And you can see now they're called basic, core, plus, and advanced. This plus, or what was previously known as the commerce basic plan, was $40 a month. And then this advanced plan, which was formerly known as commerce advanced, was $72 a month. So there hasn't been a lot of change to these first two levels of the of their pricing plans. Now obviously they changed their name, but let's switch over right now. Let's switch over to the annual payment and you'll see that it goes down to an average of $16 a month for the basic, $23 a month for core, $39 a month for the plus plan and then $99 a month for the advanced which comes out to $192 a year for the per for the basic plan which was formerly known as personal uh the core plan which was formerly known as business it comes out to $276 a year and then the plus plan which was formerly known as commerce basic is going to come out to $468 a year. And then the advanced plan, which was formerly known as the commerce advanced plan is going to come out to $1,188 a year. Now, as I was saying, the, the basic and the core plans, these first two levels haven't really changed a whole lot. As you scroll down here, you can see what a lot of the benefits are that come with them. If you're just getting started a personal or basic it's gonna be hard for me to start calling that basic I'm so used to calling personal and business but this basic plan can work one of the big differences that you see between it and the business plan and why or i'm sorry the core plan and and why it's going to be your recommended plan this is what most people fall under and some of the the key factors that determine this one of them is right off the bat there the up to con two contributors whereas every other plan has unlimited and so that's going to be limiting because you know you would be one of the contributors me being on the website would be another and if you wanted to add anybody else you're going to be already over that limit and wanting to needing to go up to business the other thing that really is the kicker for most people is the the website analytics and then the big one is the the customization with the css and javascript so with the with the basic plan all you have is the native Squarespace features. And so there's nothing you can do to, and a matter, a matter of fact, you can start a plan in the trial mode. And if you have CSS on there, when you go to upgrade to a subscription, it is going to make you choose this core plan. So one of the other things that is that you can get a a professional email from Google Workspace free for a year with an annual subscription. 
And what that's talking about is like, I have one of those that's, you know, my website is aboundwebdesign.com. And so my p- professional email is brian at aboundwebdesign.com. And you can get that all through the back end of your website with a business plan or above. Now, the rest of the differences that you're going to get into with the plus and the advanced is going to be all based on commerce features. As you can see here, any of the plans can accept payments, but the rate on these first two is is a lot higher. The credit card rates, you get 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction, whereas the <clears throat> the plus plan is 2.7% and then 30 cents per transaction, and the advanced is 2.5% plus 30, 30 cents per transaction. Um, the the basic plan has an online store transaction fee of 2% and everything else has zero. And then you see the digital content and memberships transaction fees. They're 7%, 5%, 1%, 0%. And so this is these payment features are really where they're coming up with the difference in price here. They're making you to get these cheaper rates on the payment processing fees you're having to pay for them up front here. And so if you have a store or a membership or whatever, you know, revenue you're producing through your website, if you're creating enough of it to where it makes sense to pay for one of these more advanced subscriptions, then you can see how that would make sense. If if you're selling a low number of products or subscriptions or memberships, then you probably want to keep it more towards the left side of these plans and the more revenue you're producing with your business, the more you might want to consider moving over to one of these plans on the right side. So this is, like I said, all available on squarespace.com forward slash pricing. And it's just one of those things you're going to have to look through and figure out whether or not it's worth the money to you with what you're making. Are you going to be able to make up the difference with the revenue that you're producing through your website to pay for these differences in the cost of the subscription. So the other thing that I noticed right off the bat that ends up being a feature that some a lot of my clients end up using is the video hosting. And you see here the basic plan has 30 minutes. And then now the the core and advanced I'm sorry, the core, the plus and the advanced have the different amounts. As far as I am aware before these new plans came out here in the last week, all of these were limited to 30 minutes. And so, and then you just had to pay extra if you went over the 30 minutes. Now they have the, the, you know, the, the core has the five hours, which is a, a big, you know, obviously four and a half hours worth of video upgrade. And so with that being the plan that most people end up on, I think that'll be a big benefit to a lot of people. And then, of course, this this plus plan, having 50 hours, could be really beneficial as well. And so that's those are definitely a couple of things to consider. Um, as you can see here, it gets into the more of the what you see with the different things that, that are allowed on as you move on the right side you know, further to the right on these plans. And a lot of these things are included on every subscription model. But like I said, you can come on over to squarespace.com pricing. I'll include that link in the description of the video and you can check these things out. And really it's just going to depend on, you know, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it really just depends on what you're using Squarespace for, whether or not, these changes are going to be good for you or not. So you'll have to look and and decide for yourself. That's all there is to this pricing, these new pricing updates though. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more Squarespace content like this. And if you'd like me to build your Squarespace website for you, you can find my contact, contact information in the description below.